Hey guys and welcome to Versus Scale. So you guys know by now that I like Perplexity.ai and in a crazy <laughs> twist of events, Perplexity has launched a huge update that has uh, some potential to disrupt the SEO industry and the way we produce content. This update is called Perplexity Pages. So if you go to library, you have this plus sign and when you click page, you will arrive at this window, which is basically meant to use your prompt and create a whole page around it. So before what I would do, I would go to new thread, I would choose the mode, then I would always toggle the pro all the way to the right to get the most factual data. And then I would say, write me an article about best AI side hustles. And this is typical of perplexity. So it is giving me what I'm asking for. And it rewrote the title as the eight best AI side hustles to earn extra cash in 2024. So these are the side hustles. But this is not a self-sufficient article. This is good for a pluralistical draft. But you would have to build out every paragraph. You'd have to add images, custom information. And yes, you can follow up to ask for more and build your article that way. But with pages what i find is that it works as a construction toy so uh, you can control different elements of this article so let me just give you an example let me use the, the same premise so best ai side hustles but i'll do it via the pages i'm going to library pressing the plus sign then to page what is your page about? Best AI site hustles of 2024. Let's see what happens. So I'm getting a featured image, which is likely to be taken from some YouTube video. I'm getting a nice formatted article and a pretty cool intro. So the rise of artificial intelligence has opened up exciting new opportunities for site hustles in 2024, from generating passive income through AI-powered YouTube channels to creating digital products and optimizing e-commerce sales. AI tools are empowering entrepreneurs to boost their earnings in innovative ways. Okay, and then you have a few options. So first you can press this drag and reposition and you can move around the image. I don't like this image at all. So I can either delete it or change it and I can search for the stock images. Here I can upload my own or I can press generate image. And here I want an illustration, I think. Okay, so this represents different side hustles. Nice looking image. And on the right hand side, you have the current subheadings that have been filled in. After each section, you have a few things you can do. So you can add media. If I press add media here, it will find a relevant image to complement the heading. So this one is talking about AI powered e-commerce stores. And same as with featured image, you can change it around. You can switch it to say diagram. Okay. Then what I think is even more interesting. So let's go to AI generated children books. So I can go to edit and I can choose the formatting option. So I like table, then I can say details. And this way I'm getting a relevant table, which talks about some different processes of uh, creating children's books. I can also add media. Okay. And this is a relevant YouTube channel, relevant YouTube channel. So next, once I arrive at the last section, I can either use some of the AI suggestions, say AI enhanced inventory management and it will write another side hustle that it thinks is relevant which is called AI enhanced inventory management I can keep going say automated customer service bots and then I can say write me a bulleted conclusion section and this has effectively summed up all the previous sections then once this article is ready I can preview it like so looking nice I can continue editing it or I can publish it if I choose to publish it via a link, I can just share that link. So let me open it up. I can share it with anyone. It could be part of my team, could be my editor, could be my writer. And he then can continue collaborating with this article, asking follow-up questions and basically working with this document. Now I want to be critical as well as supportive of this initiative. I like the premise of controlling each and every section and each and every paragraph and working on different formatting options. I like that a lot. What I'm missing is that I feel that the outline has to be created separately. And if you watch some of my perplexity videos, I'm a big advocate for using the collections. So one of my collections is called Outline Genius, which works by creating comprehensive outlines. So give me an outline 
design for the best AI side hustles of 2024. And I bet you anything that it will be drastically different to what the page itself has managed. So the best AI side hustles, freelance writing, social media content creation, SEO optimization, digital project development, video creation, e-commerce sales, AI voiceovers, personalized services, AI tutoring, AI influencer marketing. And to me, this is a more comprehensive outline. So if I were to use pages for my SEO content writing, I would generate an outline separately. I would store it in a separate window or copy it over to a document. And then I would feed my outline section by section, paragraph by paragraph. So let's try something like this. So this is the intro, edit page, insert section. This would be the first section. And then this one here, insert section. Another one is social media automation. And I would just straight up delete all the other sections to be quite honest. And AI social automation. Let's do one more, SEO optimization. This has to be in the context of the article. So what's this section about? And here I can do the rest of the things that I've shown, like using tables, details. So AI can be used for keyword research, on-page SEO, technical SEO, backlink building, performance tracking. And yeah, you just go through the whole outline from one to 10. And this is a perfect listicle example. And so this way you get a pretty good page. So well, once again, my first critique would be the outlining feature that I think is lacking with the pages. The second one is kind of annoying. So if you've noticed, you can only share these to these platforms here and this shares a link basically and I have not found a way of copying this page and pasting it straight to WordPress. I tried and it messed up everything and it did not look half as good as this page here. Maybe this is the beginning of a new parasitic SEO where perplexity will end up being a Wikipedia of sorts where you control the pages and you can place uh, maybe links to your own resources even. Let's test this out actually. So edit page, give me a relevant link and some statistics from trickmenot.ai. Okay, so it, it did not do what I was intending it to do. So basically it gave me some statistics about the site, but not the actual relevant link. But I think it's a matter of prompting. So you might uh, end up finding a good way of mentioning your own products. And yeah, if you find a uh, proper way of copying this, and paste it into WordPress or mark it down to HTML, let me know. I think Perplexity has done something very interesting. So this is fully in line with the process that I adhere to, which is writing your article section by section, looking at the search intent, looking at different statistics, trying to enrich your article and give a new fresh perspective in line with the information gain concept. And yeah, I will be testing this out more. If you have any questions specific to Perplexity and Perplexity pages, be my guest. And that's it. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.